How can I help you? I've got a really cool motorcycle I want to show you. All right, I um, I got a lot in the back. You want to pull it around there? We can check it out. Yeah, no problem. As a motorcycle guy, I get pretty excited when someone tells me they've got a cool bike to show me. So this better be good. What do we have here? 1983 Harley Davidson soft tail. Nice. Glad they came out with a soft tail. Otherwise, you were just kind of stuck with either a rigid or those big gross springs on the side. And it was <laughs> yeah, the pogo seats. <laughs> yeah. I like those big gross springs on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Davidson brought out the Softdale to try and rejuvenate their uh, place in the market. When it was introduced, it became their best selling motorcycle and it's the most popular one. But I believe it's worth at least $50,000 and I'm not willing to take any less than that for it. So, where'd you get this thing? I bought it from uh, the executor of the state on a sale. So, it's a 1983 Harley Davidson Evo Softdale. You know, it was the first year that they came out with the soft tail swing arm. And the Evolution motor, man, it was probably Harley's first good motor. Back in the 70s, the quality of Harleys took a serious nosedive, and they were barely able to compete with their Japanese competitors. They almost went under. This soft tail model was such an improvement that it, it pretty much saved the company. Well, why don't you fire this bad boy up? Sounds good to me, my man. I mean, what was done to the motor? We haven't touched it, even though I own a motorcycle shop. We haven't done anything to the motor. My big question to you is going to be, if you own a motorcycle shop, what the hell do you need me for? Well, it had a, a special owner. It was a very famous band that uh, owned and uh, rode this. All right, I'm intrigued. So who owned it? It was uh, owned by the Grateful Dead band. OK. Um... Well, that's, that's definitely going to up the value a little bit. You want some proof? I got a copy of the DMV printout, and this is uh, who owned the motorcycle. Brent Midland, OK. Uh, Brent Midland was the keyboard player, right? Yeah, he was the okay. keyboardist. Brent Midland? I'm sorry, but Brent Midland is no Jerry Garcia. Give me an idea of what you're looking to get out of him, my man. The last time that this bike was uh, had an offer on it, it was $125,000 for the bike. Unless you can prove that Jerry Garcia was sitting on this bike when he wrote Truckin', I don't know where he's getting his numbers from. It was owned by Jerry Garcia. If you had paperwork saying Jerry Garcia, I mean, the band died when Jerry Garcia died. Jerry Garcia was the Grateful Dead. That's the way I feel about it. What kind of uh, price were you thinking on a bike? I mean, honestly, my man, I would offer you 2,500 bucks for it. OK, well, I appreciate that, but I just can't uh, take that offer. I don't blame you, my man. All right, thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. I think that they're making a mistake today by not offering more on this motorcycle. They're overlooking the fact that it's a running piece of history for Harley Davidson and for the Grateful Dead band.